Hello, I'm Ed Harrison. Welcome back to Let's Play Battletech. This has to be the th sixth jump that this one transit has done. We have been jumping so many times. Must be going halfway across the galaxy. Bloody hell. Uh, we're about to be at Artreo, though. I'm just going to change the spelling every time. Artreo. Uh, we will play casually. Get morale. And then we have finally made it. It's very pretty. Right. Let's do a contract. We're today doing a story contract. Grave robbing in orbit. Ah, true. There it is, ah, true. A more foreboding hunk of ice I've never seen. You were born in the system, were you not, Mr. Oliveira? Yes, Lady Arana. I grew up on Nassau Heights, one of the orbiting uh, ab stations above the planet's surface. I mean, where else do you think it orbits? Oh, I was in the orbiting ab station below the planet's surface. That would be special. No one makes landfall except for the surface mining teams, and they stay only for month long shifts. It's too dangerous for permanent habitation. I remember an old folk story that originated with those mining teams my father shared it with me when I was young. The Lacour, I think it's called. If memory serves, it was all ill wind that would howl through the canyon, killing engines and scrambling computers. The stuff of nightmares for such an inhospitable world. Yes, Lady Rana, it's a gremlin story, something that miners can blame when they pass out drunk with the headlights running. Lacour killed my engine, it barely got out alive. Not a proud student as a culture, but apparently it gets around. Not a great victory point. Got it, let's continue on. House Curusus has provided us with five supply ships to carry whatever we need to the surface. Captain Grigas of the ARS Delphinus will serve as our point of contact with a fleet. With a fleet. Then why did we have to pay for transit on a ship? Well, actually, we didn't have to pay for transit. We got free transit. Still, why did we not come with a fleet? I guess we came from somewhere else. After Dr. Murad's finished interfacing with the Castle's computer. She'll pop the doors and we'll run a threat assessment. Then, if everything looks clear, we'll have Samir set you down on the ground. Hey guys, I can't hate to interrupt, but I've got a sensor up on my screen. It's a dropship. Can't make out what kind. She's headed to the planet's surface. It looks like her point of origin was Artru's second moon. That's strange. Artru's moon are uninhabited. Is it a directorate ship? Still too far to say. At the current rate of speed, it's less than an hour before I can give you a positive ID. Nothing's ever easy. Why is it never easy? Beats me, Commander. I'll let you know. Ah, uh, we can't wait for Fra to open the door. If we're still at the area when we unexpected guests arrive, we'll run the risk of leading them right to Castle Nautilus. We're dropping now. Hold a mech's on the ground when the door's open on the form change, blah, blah, blah. You can't get down there in person, come here. And certainly not before, we're sure it's safe. You're the leader of the restoration. We can't afford to lose you on a salvage operation. But she's going to go anyway because she's a badass. Uh, she's taking the place of one of my valuable mech pilots. Can't take the risks. That's what you're paying us for. This isn't just about salvage, damn it. My father spent half his life dreaming of the Argo and secrets. This is one of those secrets. I will see us through. God's sake, you're just going to follow up every single damn thing you read on the ship. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going, blah, blah, blah. I want a back team on the ground, blah, blah, blah. Uh, cool. And you're going as well. I want the rumble seat. Rumble seat, what is that? An optional secondary passenger seat that can be built into the control of a battle mech. Rumble seats are positioned away from all control systems and ejection equipment. Those who ride in them have no control of the mech itself and utterly at the mercy of the mech in the cockpit. Oh. Oh dear. Right. So, Kamiya's taking one of my valuable spots with her crappy Kintaro. <sighs> Meanwhile... What would be a good one for this mission? See, I know the mission, so... I have a few options. Yeah, bring the Zeus along. Sure. That seems good to me. 
Oh no, I didn't mean to send Decker Socks a glitch. God damn it, I've got better pilots than them. Okay, I guess we're going with them. Whoopsie. Can I have a dialogue that says, you're taking Decker on a mission. Do you really need to do this? Like, really? Okay. Let's do it. Command interface initiated. Good luck down there. Any luck contacting on top of it? The handshake's been established. Our command access door is controlled being a little finicky, though. Not to worry. I think I found a workaround. Understood. Do it. Okay, cool. Let's get going. I'm moving out. Acknowledged. I see you ruined my color okay. scheme. The standard approach isn't working. I'm inputting a valid ID, but for some reason the door won't budge. I think I found a workaround, though. It'll just be another one. And I've got it. The lights are flickering. My screen is dead. The whole arg has gone dark. I'm not picking up a drive signature. Whatever Farrar did knocked out her engines. And the vents are spitting out drones. Be careful of those things. They're off to the course they did. coming in fast. And there's probably more where they came from. I read you, right. Commander. Hi. Moving out. Heavy drone. Double PPC and an RM-10. Whoa! That's, uh, that's... That's firepower. All right. Really? You don't need to jump just on this? I'll do what you ask. Double PPC and RM-10. Better. Right. Confirm. At least they die. Weird looking things. Yes, Commander. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. Okay. Yeah, fire thing. All weapons are go. I was dubious about needing that second batch of missiles, but I think we needed it. Medium. Okay. What's up, boss? Location confirmed. Bring up the rear. Alright, not too bad. I have done a lot of grinding for this mission. I just remember being really pre <sighs> glitched. Hey, it's fair. Uh, I remember being really beat by this mission when I played it uh, previously in like the pre-build I had. So I may have grinded a, a fair amount of this. Oh, that's a heavy... Ow. We're already structure exposed. You can see daylight through my armor. Okay, yes, maybe I, I mis misestimated you. Uh, yeah, do the stuffy thing. Oh, it's like a hovercraft. That's cool. But probably gravity repulses or something. Uh, I'm moving Commander? glitch. I won't be able to shoot with you and your stability warning, so I can't do anything fancy. Uh. Ah! Acknowledged. Time to earn our money. That's where the heavy is. Oh, 
Okay. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Coordinates received. Back up to here. And then just brace. Yeah, heavy. I've got evasion. Ooh, dodged one of them. Oh, I for mm, probably should have moved you. Oh, well, uh, I meant to reserve here. Good to go. Right. Yeah, give her everything. Alpha strike. We can't stay out in the open. If we don't find hardcover, we're going to get swamped. What's the plan? Fall back and find an extraction point. I'm getting the hell out of there. No, we to push forwards to the doors. Is there any way out through this? Marauder will fix this. Believe it. See... This is... This doesn't come across as perseverance. It comes across as stupidity. Like, she, she, her first thought isn't like, how can we make this work? Her first thought is, we'll just make it work. Her, it isn't like, a, right, how can we survive this? Right, pull back, fortify, defend the door. Her first thought is, no, we'll just make it work. She's got nothing helpful to add to any of the conversations we have. And I think that's what I really dislike about her. Um... Is she doesn't really add anything constructive. She just she just cheerleads. But you can't be a cheerlead character if you're meant to be the main character. It it just doesn't work. I think that's what she's lacking compared to like Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, I say, you know, because she's obviously meant to be designed as like a Daenerys type character. It's she lacks any real substance to add to any conversations. Um Whereas she takes the whole hardline tack and then changes her opinion a little bit or comes from different angles that don't really seem to meld together. Like, there's no unifying pers personality to her. She just comes from these different points that someone's written, right? She does this and this in her personality, but they don't feel unified. And then whenever she does that, she doesn't really add much substantive. And it just drives me nuts. Like, that's a terrible leader who just says, no, just make it believe it. I believe it. I believe it. It's true. Okay, we're staying down here. Blah, 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 blah. Turrets are activating. We okay, company. cool. And more units. Great. Um, so that's a standard shredder turret, which is flamers, an AC-20. Holy crap. Uh, okay. I'm just going to move this way to try and keep my movement fast. I'm on it. Okay, one down. Medium drone. Ow. Standing by. I'm gonna move to here because I want to see heavy drone. Yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, multi-target. And fire at the U as well. Multiple targets confirmed. I don't know if heavy drone having a go. Oh, so close. And I'm really? I missed both really. Missed. Okay. Waiting for orders. Is there any way I can get Yes, okay. That should be enough to kill the heavy drone. Yeah. And then... Eh, close, but that's a guy. They've got a sensor lock on me. Standing by. Right. Aye, aye. Uh, you need 51 damage. So, oh yeah, you can't multi-attack because deck is a... Ugh. Save the ammo in the AC-20. One less turret. Okay. Oh, really? I want to get out of there. Structural damage. 
Oh, I'm aware. Location confirmed. Oh, he. Yeah. Locked in on the target. Knock, knock, knocking on heavy turrets. Slide that, okay. Oh, hey. I'm gonna get you to come around the corner and hide. I mean, I don't want to say that I'm hiding, but I'm hiding. That shoulder's down to 3 HP. You need 54. That should do it. Firing on target. We've got a hit with all but one missile, though. So close. Ready for orders. Roger that. Hopefully we gotta go first. Right. Kill. Taking the shot. Just. Vehicle. Do something stupid like a sensor lock? No? Okay. Oh, miss a lot. That go. also works. Heading right, out. this turret hasn't acted. And Decker can't multi shot, so you're all gonna die. Engaging target. Or we can miss the AC 20 shot. Really? Decker, you're such an ass. I'm very good at not being hit. Okay, at least you didn't get the double PPCs in my rear arc. We got bad guys. Right. I'm listening. Mia. Can you not get a shot with that one? Two HP. It survived with two HP. Oh. I'm going to drop the LRM. Drop a laser. Drop another laser. Get a laser back. Discharging weapon. One down. Two down. Yep. How about we leave? Get to the door. Orders. I'm gonna jump so I can keep them in my front arc. And also brace, which is actually great. Waiting for orders. Get sprinting. And... Coordinates received. I don't know why I just moved. I could have sprinted. Do you read me? Thank God. Tell me what's going up there. Doc Marad put a uh, nose in something we should have. Says everything's going haywire. Putting out fires as we speak. You tell Dr. Miranda that if she doesn't get these doors open right now, Lady Runner's dead. We all are. I'm well aware of that. Yang, I'm working on it. Hold out a little longer. I'm working on... We've lost contact again. Keep yourselves alive. I'll call out new contacts as I see them. Great. Just great. Heads up. You got more of those little bastards coming in from the vents in the rock. So you know when we had to give up this area 
to get to here. And they've got long-range PPCs and LRMs. Yeah. We're outranged by them. You have my attention. Yeah, well. Isn't that great? I'm, I'm gonna just pull move. back as far as possible. Make them have to come a long way. Good to go. Commander? Is there a way to get straight shot? There is. On my way. Because then if you can't see me, you can't really take the shot. All weapons are go. Right. Vehicle gone. Come at me. That's a vehicle kill. I'm going to try and block the shots if possible. It doesn't really do a good job. Technically, you can block shots with other mechs, but it's... It's rare. I think it literally has to be in the very narrow core target that you can actually block a line of sight. Ready for orders. Let's see what's happening with the heavies. Fine. Waiting for orders. Oh hi. Moving to position. Well, I'm glad I spotted you. That could have been bad. That could still be bad. Right. Receiving you. I copy. Let's try it again. Hi. Targeting for physical attack. There we go. And then just for good measure. Right. Didn't happen anywhere else? No? No, nothing over here. Okay. Tell me what you need. Just tell me what you need, what you really, really need. Just tell me what you need, what you really, really need. I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a door open so I can get out of here. If you want to keep my queenie, you just need to. What's up, boss? I don't know a word for open door that rhymes with that. If you want to stay my queenie, you just need to breathe. Keep your lungs moving. The restoration needs your leadership. I have no idea why you really suck. Broadcast this now. It would be better if you died. Yeah. Okay. Are we good? Are we still getting ready? Fine. Copy that. Reserve. I'm just gonna brace everyone. Got it. Okay, you're coming up the hill. Or oh, you're turning around. Identify code accepted. Automated defenses disengaged. Welcome, Argo. What's well, going up there? I used a code breaker to access the sealed portion of the Nautilus memory core. When I got it, I grabbed up every encrypted file I could find. And I did get the door codes, but I also found something else. What did you let loose in my ship, Doctor? I don't know. Something they were researching there. It's malicious code of some kind. I think I inadvertently let it out of quarantine. I tripped an alarm. Good news, it's got it contained. 90% certain. It's caused a lot of damage up here. Communications are patchy. Main drive system is offline. We're floating in dead space. Lots of superficial damage. 
I can use more hands on deck. Anyone who can follow basic stress will do. The Argo's enormous ship, and that code would make an absolute mess of her. Okay, get everyone but me and Yang back to the Argo. Why? 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 Get everyone but me and Yang back to the Argo so we can, you know, do all that ship. Why? We literally have a bunker here full of, like, lost tech, presumably, that was our entire mission coming down here, and you were very keen on getting inside, and you were like, no, we're not all gonna die, we're gonna defend it to our dying breath, there's no way we're leaving, and now you're just like, yeah, you know the people we brought down to do this stuff? Just send them back. And we already know an enemy dropship, or, you know, an unknown dropship is coming here. So why, why? We need the people to get in, we need to get the stuff, we need to get out. We can deal with our ships in orbit later, because we, you literally said we have a fleet in orbit. I don't know why they couldn't catch that dropship. They're really just crap at their job, apparently. Um, but dear God, why? Why are you sending the mech techs back to orbit? We brought them down for a reason. And the door's open now. Take a peek and then make a decision. She is the worst leader. What are we doing? We came here, we're going inside. I didn't realize this way to leave empty-handed. Well, you did, because you just sent the mechs home. The Delphinus is for loading and ready to drop. Meet at the north entrance and hurry, don't have much time before our unwelcome guest arrives. Why didn't we go through the other entrance, or multiple entrances? Why didn't we drop everyone and go through multiple entrances? I don't know why, we've got another drop. Recovery team inbound. It has crosses. Uh, Predator of uh, the restoration. You don't even get a picture, so you're definitely going to die. Like, this just seems lazy. Taking us inside. Mission successful. Okay, we're inside. We're not doing the next part? Okay, we'll do the next part. I mean, I'll take that, because it's rare. Ooh! Minus 10% stability damage taken? There we go. Any second now. Surrounded by a battalion of the Torian Concordate's most decorated mech warriors. On behalf of our allies in the Oregon Directorate, I demand your immediate and unconditional surrender. But I know you won't stand down, Lady Arano. You're the sword of restoration. You have a reputation to uphold. Joy, painting the ice red with your blood. Have you considered counseling? Dead in space, in orbit. A true. And it states report, what's the condition up there? Argus made drives are flying, engineering, I think I've got malicious code insulated, but it's already done a lot of damage. What's your status, Lady Arano? We're on the move. Torian Marines have taken the outpost castle. 
Oh dear. Most of our salvage team is dead. Yang sealed the mech bay door, but they won't hold long. The only five of us left. The crew that we brought down and Yang. We're on our way to the surface in a few mechs that Yang managed to get running. Heads up, Lady Arano. When you reach the surface, you're going to have company. I'm picking up a Torian recon lance just standing outside the main door. I don't know why we just don't send down reinforcements. We have people and mechs. We could get more than running. Oh, but we needed to board the spaceship. We're not needed to board the spaceship, because here's the thing. The spaceship is not threatened. It'll be here in a few hours' time. It's fine. We have a navy and all... Why can't we use naval weapons on the ground? Okay, maybe it's banned or something. I don't know. There's probably there's probably law reasons. There normally is. Because otherwise, everything is space battles and there's no ground battles. Um, but sure. Like, you know. If, so, if that is a thing, by the way, in the law, and someone knows, put down below. Be interested here. Uh, but... We need forces on the ground. We don't need them in space. Space is not an issue for us. Also, why didn't they stop the bloody dropship? So, just... It doesn't... Okay. As we come back to the first wave, we're in trouble, people. Yeah, boss, I figured that much on my own. What a day. Why are the Torians fighting for Espinosa? And what this Ostergaard guy is against us specifically? Because this is some grade A bullshit right here. I've long since given up on trying to understand why the Torians do anything. They shouldn't be fighting us, damn it. They shouldn't even be here at all. No, a fleet should have stopped them. The Torrens were tipped off by Espinosa. That means we've got ourselves a mole. I bet you anything I know who it is. Otto Carosis. Remember what Lord Carosis told us? His son returned from Eldra a different person. The director played with him. His mind broke somehow. It, yeah, okay, look. His mind broke somehow. He's back. He's not feeling all that. You know, he's kind of... Uh, all the time. Whatever. But... Why did Lord Carosis tell him about top secret plans to go to a special place that we found out about on a moon of Atreyu and this, that, and the other, and the dates and the details, and why? It doesn't make any sense. Look, your son's come back. He's really, you know, hurt and injured, and he's mentally being, like, put through the ringer. He's not up to doing much. Like, the guy was like, I need you to spend time with my son because he's just not capable right now. Sure. Why did you tell your incapable invalid son top secret military plans and details, including presumably times, because it happened while we were here. You think they brainwashed him? It's possible. I'll send a warning to Smith on as soon as I'm able, but right now the only thing that matters is fixing this ship and getting to me away from the Torian board. Fixing this ship isn't important. The ship is not breaking apart. Like, worst case scenario, you scram the reactor, you shut down everything on the ship, you've got, you know, probably somewhere in the region of several hours worth of life support, minimum. And hell, you could dock with another ship if need be and just circulate and piggyback off their life support. You literally don't need to worry about this ship. You put resources... <laughs> We need to focus on the job at hand. There goes docking clamps are locked tight. Damn thing won't... Okay, so we can't dock either. And the leopard's out of commission. Okay, that explains why we can't send the leopard down. Fine. That's fine. But... There's no manual release for them? All docking facilities should have a manual release. That way, if someone, like, docked with you and who is hostile and then managed to get a computer virus in and locked the docking clamp, you'd want to manually release it. Oh, hell, they could override the docking clamp and lock it open or something and void, I don't know. There we go. If we can get the doors to engineering open, we can manually release the clamp. So no one's in engineering? Or everybody in engineering died? I don't understand your logic here. This seems weird. I just need an engineer. Why aren't you in engineering? We're in a combat situation. We were since we first dropped. Why Why aren't you at your station in engineering? I know I'm being picky, but... There's a lot of little things here that just, that just pile up.
Let's know if they're going to out. Blah, blah, blah. We'll hold it for as long as we can. The elevator accelerating. We're almost at the surface. Any second now, these doors are going to open. We need some place to rest. What are our options? Best bet the Delphinus. Lord Cross's other support ships have either fled or been destroyed. Wait, there was. Guys, there was apparently a battle in orbit, and no one told us about it. All the other support ships have either fled or been destroyed. Okay, so they fled. Sure. Where? Because the closest thing we're talking about is the Leopard, which is A, in orbit, because it's here, B, lock tight with docking clamps. And apparently, Lord Cross's other support ships have fled. Have they fled further than our Leopard? Because if the support ships are on the planet, with the enemy mechs and the dropship, I guess they can shoot down a Leopard? Okay. In which case, why did they flee further than us in orbit? Shouldn't they just fleet it over the horizon? Secondly, if there was a space battle and the support ships are in orbit and had to flee orbit, A, why didn't you tell me this? B, why didn't you tell me this? And C, why are we not dead? And D, why did you not tell me that there was a space battle? That's somewhat important strategic technical information. She's currently powering down. I don't think the terms have detected you yet. If you can make it out there, Captain Gringus and his crew should be able to extract you. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see I need to stay on the comms and guide us through this. Yeah, I'm on the comms. I'm on the ship, aren't I? You have my word. Right, let's do this. Or we could, you know, freeze. That's great. I'm so glad I'm taking Decker into this fight, guys. <sighs> Did I miss it telling me that there's a giant fight in orbit? Okay, they got a load of Starly Gear MX though. That's cool. Hey, there's extra pay. 1.7 mil. She didn't need to give us extra pay. I'm pleased. Because we already kind of agreed to do this mission. Command interface initiated. Wait, so where are my mechs? Weren't my people down on the planet? They'd Kameo Arano on. The Arana Restoration. On behalf of the Torrent Concorda, I hereby command you to... Oh shit, Iberia, they're piloting SLTF Battlenecks. We need reinforcements now. Did you really only just notice? That's our home. Push through. Fight for the reach. Just a heads up. When we get to a safe distance, I'm going to set off a little surprise I left behind for our Torian friends. Surprise? You'll see... Trust me, you're gonna love it. She means a bomb, Lady Rano. Seriously, how how dense is she? I want to uh, look at these max. I'm hit. Uh, Great way to start. Uh, when did I get aboard the ship? Well, I was on the ship already. When did my people get aboard the ship? When did the mechs of my people in them get aboard the ship? Ha I don't know. Maybe because I sped through the dock. Uh, the, 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 the discussion. I, I just don't know. This Ready is a griffin. Forward. Really? This is a Starly Gear mech? This is trash. Oh! Just got an ERPPC, though. 
which is an extended range PPC. It does 50 damage for 50 heat. Normal PPCs do 40 damage for 30 heat. This does an extra 25% damage for 66% heat. Are you sure? Or is it extended range PPC 50 damage? No, sorry. PPC is 50 damage. So what do you do? A PPC is also 20 stability, right? Plus one accuracy for 50 heat. The Star League era stuff in this, um, it sounds really cool, but actually it's way over the temperature for what it really should be. There are a couple of exceptions, but generally the Star League era tech is not the best. Um, I'm going to move to here and we'll probably use multi-attack on Shadowhawk and Jenna. Sure. This needs to die. Firestarter will actually shut us all down. Right. Multiple targets confirmed. Firestarter will... You don't have much armor, do you? Overheat us. And I'm not a fan of being overheated. Of course, can make it the Atlas. It's a badass looking one that we saw in the cutscene. Alright, um, yep. canola, granola, whatever face. Uh, we're in a Black Knight. I've got one of those. That's... Okay. Alright, you've got Pulse Laser, which is 45 damage instead of 40, but 40 heat. Oh, plus two accuracy. That that doesn't really make up for that heat. Um, move to here. No problem. On my way. Because the fire start needs to die. We've established this. Yeah, look at that overheat bar. Multiple enemies locked in. All right, Shadowhawk. The director, it must fall. I'm feeling inspired. Okay. They've got reinforcements down next to my dropship. Why didn't they just shoot the drop? I guess they never do in the missions. I assume they're super heavily armored or something. Uh, Highlander. Gore's rifle. This is one that I feel better about. I like the Gore's rifle. 75 damage. That's more than AC 10. Less than AC 20. 40 stability damage. That's good. Plus two accuracy. That's good. Only five heat. That's really good. And range extreme. Ah, uh, that's great. That makes it sniper material. And there's no other AC that I consider sniper material. The AC two? 25 damage. The AC five? 45. But doesn't really... It's... It takes up like eight tons, and you need ammo. Or is it more than that? Is it ten tons? Oh. The Gauss rifle? Hell yeah. Do you have minimum range? I don't know. Yeah. Um, we're going to want to back up for this one. Yeah. Going to enjoy this. Let's move. Right. And that's probably going to be overkill. Acknowledge. Oh, beautiful.
How do we blow that side off? A critical hit. Right, Reading Atlas. And clear. We've got an AC-20, which, you know, we know that already. A couple of extended range uh, large lasers. Medium pulse. Ooh, medium pulse. 30 damage for 20 heat. Is that normal? It's got extra accuracy. Yeah. Um, it's, it's plus 5 damage, but I'm not sure what the heat difference is. Is that less heat? Or... No, that's... Normal heat? Right, the fire started. You really need to die. How much will it take to kill you? I should take a fair bit. Confirmed. So, we're gonna... Dance around a little bit. And then... She's got a sensor. Of course she has. I'm gonna fire an AC-20 at you. Now look at this. This is a badly designed mech. Like, we're on a polar biome, so we've got an extra 20% heat sink, right? I can't fire all my guns. From zero heat, with a 20% heat sink buff, some of these guns are dead weight. Just completely useless to me. In fact, a bit of a liability. Uh, we will try and hold back by not firing. I think the extended range lasers are just way too much heat for what they're asking. Like, look at that. Get a lot more heat. Fire. Right torso and a knockdown. Not dead, though. Left torso. Now, these weapons aren't available in stores. I sound like I'm meant to be pitching them to sale or something. Uh, but these weapons aren't available in stores. The only way to get these is this mission. And even then, you'll see that you don't actually get them. Uh, that's a pretty picture. I kind of want to enable them. There is a mod. You can enable them to be available in stores. Expensive, but you can enable them to be available in stores. Uh, part of the reason being that most of them aren't really unbalanced or anything. In fact, most of them you just don't want them. Way too much heat. Good to go. Um, extended range PPC and uh... I'm gonna want to stand on the fire starter. Affirmative. Um, okay. Claiming the Atlas is actually a good plan. The Atlas has heat issues, as we know. Commander. Right, Black Knight. Again, look. Got long range weapons combined, a medium range weapons combined with a short range weapon there. Like, short, a short range weapon is whatever. But I, I just really hate the design on this one. Like, there's no unifying theme here. Drop one of these. I've got to say, screw to the, screw you to the fire starter in particular. Oh, maybe I have to drop all of those. Sure. Fire the PPC at the fire starter. Apparently, I can fire the PPC that close and get an eighty-five percent. Fine. Roger. That's mostly to remove a bit of evasion. These are for the kills. Right leg, right torso, right arm. Okay. That's initiative two mark, okay. I'm showing minor damage. Lady Kamea. Um Yeah, get your heat back by doing a punch. Oh yeah. Nice. 
battle mech eliminated. Jenna or see you're in the awkward position here, but you are knocked down. I think we might go melee. Oh, only 70% chance to hit with a melee. Fifth percent the gauze rifle, the gauze rifle is five heat. Multi target. Okay. Made the modifiers aren't great. Do you seriously? You're not gonna create any heat here? Alright. Copy that. Alright. Jenna's down. Commander's still alive. Reporting. Enemy contact. Oh, hello. It's a Jenna. Please stop that. Right. Renard. Give me a stampy stampy. There we go. Receiving you. Okay. Move up to here with the Black Knight. We'll see what we can do with... Uh, again, don't want to fire the lasers, because they're ridiculous. Fire everything else. Roger that. There we go. I was going to say we should have got that arm off. Still rolling. Oh, it stopped. Okay. Oh, they brought a tank as well. Copy that. I really do dig the Highlander. Uh, we'll turn off the medium. Actually, I can fire the medium lasers. Because we're not creating any heat. Aye, aye. Engaging target. Ah, I missed the Gauls rifle. We do loot now with the Gauls rifle. It's worth mentioning. It's probably down to like 12 shots now. Standing by. Not, you know, terrible. Confirmed. Move the Atlas up. And then really hold back with a lot of these. Uh, fire everything else except the LRM just because... Actually, you've got so much ammo. Who brought 240 ammo for a 20 shot? That's 12 rounds of firing when you've got all of this else to worry about. I can fire that, actually. It's not going to be in here this long. I'm on. Maybe I was overdoing it a little bit, but... Eh. Hostile unit down. You think those mechs with long enough could just go through our dropship since it's right behind them. Also, apparently they don't know about that dropship. Damage minimal. They definitely know about that dropship. Cause you know, they're right next to it. What's up, boss? Confirm. Alright, Griffin. Shoot the panther. Who else is coming to the party? Ooh, hello. Enforcer? Why, hello there. Don't think I fought one of you before. And some silly vehicles. What are you? Enforcer. Large laser, small laser, AC-10. Yeah. Standing by. Not particularly enamored. Uh, right. Locking in coordinates. What are you, Scorpion? AC5 and an MG? Is this like take your kid to work day or something?
while some equally low threat. I copy. Notice how I've got two large lasers that I'm never firing. They've got to weigh, like, ten tons? Could have ten tons of jump jets. Ten tons of... Armor. This is bad mech design. Reporting. Minimal damage. Right. Let's see what the Highlander can do. And I'm going to split my shots just because I can. Engaging. Multiple enemies. Oh, nice. I probably shouldn't, I know. Unsteady already? Yes, I hear you. I'm on my way. Right, we can probably knock you over quite easily. Summon a multi target. The reason being, I want you on the second one, because that'll probably knock you over. The LRM might knock you over. Let's spread the damage a little bit around. Nice, right torso out. Only unsteady? Huh. That's gotta be knocked out. There we go. And then. And it should three. You get back up. Of course you do. In which case your other friend's gonna go down. You really don't like Black Knights, do you? The game really hates Black Knights. I don't know if there's like an aggression value where like the game thinks this is a really dangerous mech it needs to die. But whatever it is set to, Black Knights, they just really, really don't like them. All right, Enforcer, bye-bye. You look pretty. Oh no, an AC-5 and a machine gun. Whatever will I do? Oh, yeah. uh, she's getting right up in your face. Yeah, why not? Fire it. Do a good job of surviving. Oh no, striker! You're really indirect firing me? From there? Reading you loud and clear. Odd life choice. Looks like the Atlas is wearing some sort of weird bib. Uh, right. Y'all really don't need everything I'm packing. So I'm going to spread it around. Okay. Sure. Uh, a doesn't need all that. She A does need that cuz B's getting the AC20. Okay. Confirmed. B, you're just dead. AC twins may be a little bit overkill for vehicle. Okay, Panther. Pierce through the armor. That's what Pierce implies. I'm here. Pierce through the armor. Well, what else do you expect? Pierce through the bleeding nose. Uh, right. Move you this way. That's gonna be a very dead Panther in a second. Yeah, 12 shots left in the Gauls rifle. 17 health. Mm, I could. I could pull my punches here. Here we go. But I'm not gonna. That Panther should probably just eject. Okay, missed with the Gauls rifle. But we still got the kill. Back I'm really not a miss the Gauls rifle. I really like Gauls rifles. 
Hi. This is should be good. Hold on a second. Surprise! Yang, was that? She thick. She blew up. When I saw the Torians were going to take it away from us, I planted a couple of demo charges in the armor right next to the ammunition dump. That run will result with a thousand tons of high explosive cooking at once. You destroyed it. Full of priceless technology. Gone. She is so thick. Well, it wasn't about the Torians have it. They're shooting us, remember? Like, why else do you think he said I left a surprise? For a start, surprise, 50% of the time, means explosives. Secondly, he said, let me know when you get to a safe distance. Safe distance for what? Party poppers? Had to be done. Like, this is another reason that she's, like, a bad leader, right? She moans and then said, well, it had to be done. She's not like, well, when you put it that way, I guess it had to be done. There's no transition of her opinion. Her opinion is, you destroyed all this valuable technology. And he's like, well, it had to be done. And he's like, she's like, oh, it had to be done. She doesn't say, oh, actually, she just says, it had to be done. There's no transition. She's just... She's schizophrenically going from one point to another without going through the spectrum. She's just, how could you do that? All oh, that precious technology, you exploded. I'm so surprised. It had to be done. Really hate her. Really hate her. I'm going to be interested to keep reading the comments and see if people agree with me. But so far, I haven't noticed anyone particularly pointing that one out. Uh, I'm just going to go short range missiles. Roger this. I like how this range, because missiles have a certain amount that they will deviate sideways. One for the scrap heat. At really short range, when you're this close, the missile goes... Boom. Because there's like a pre-programmed distance that's not... It doesn't matter on the distance away they are. It just matters how far they're going to go left or right. So if they're this far away, they go... And if they're this far away, they go... Boom. Kind of weird. Uh, and yes, we'll just rush straight down Hello. here. Roger. This is Lady Rano to the RSS Stephanus. Captain Kriegus, do you read me? It's like the guys, I got a visual on you in your lance. Get your people on board and we'll get you out of here. Wait, what was that? I told you you would die here. Run, Lady Rano. Run as far as you can. I will find you all the same. Ah, shit incoming. That was an unarmed support ship, you animal! There was no need for you to target it! Is it this universe? Is is there, a, is there a rule of war in this universe? It's, you're not allowed to target support ships. Because there's a difference between a support ship being like just a medical ship, right? And a difference between a support ship that is literally there to drop and exfiltrate mechs. Battle mechs. I don't- I really don't get this. That was an unarmed support ship. It might be unarmed. But the point of it is to get heavily armed units in and out. It's a legitimate target. I don't know why you didn't wait until we were on board and then shot it. Tell that to the crew of the new Grange. How do you know about that? Ask the guard. Answer me. Cut the line. Let's take the leopard. Docking clamps are still locked down tight. But I've opened the doors to engineering. We can manually disengage the clamps from here. I'll prep for takeoff. I need your help with the clamps. I'm on it. I suggest you get deeper into the valley. They have a hard time targeting the artillery. It's artillery, so it's not from space. Okay, in which case we still have orbital control. Oh. And there's enemies behind us. Cool. Get to the secondary LZ. Sure. Standing by. Let's sprint it. New sensor contact. Oh, what tonnage are we talking about? This really matters. Ready for orders. Black Knight. I'm gonna go this way. I copy. Aye, aye. Right. 
You'd be better down here. Oh, you've got jump jets. Oh, cool. Not many of them. We get to come from here. That way we can always go sideways and get shots. Because here, we're going to have that blocking probably and then that blocking. Here, we can get shots pretty cleanly. Tell me what you need. Just tell me what you need. What you really, really need. Tell me what you need. What you really, really need. I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a, I need you to shut up, Lady Kamano, because you're really annoying. Kamano. Kamiya Arano. Sorry. Kamano. That's your new name. My forces are closing in on you, Lady Arano. Your time is running out. Also, you're done. Why didn't you just shoot the thing when we were on board? Oh, hi. Commander? Okay, Griffin, close the distance. Move into what you got? They have a Vindicator and a Griffin. Okay, well, let's shoot you. On it. Respectable shots. Center chest. Get a feeling that Vindicate, uh, that uh, Griffin's gonna get shot at a lot. Orders. Position confirmed. All right, get the height advantage, and then I can just about get both of the extended range. Uh, sorry, L pulse, extended range PPC. Is that a maximum range of uh, extreme? It is. And I can get both the uh, pulse lasers firing. Let's do this. Taking the shot. All right, I missed. That's the thing, when you're spending so much heat on a weapon, you really want it to hit. You have my Come here. Attention. You can't really get anywhere useful. Uh, I'm going to sprint you. Copy that. you got mm. I'm here okay up high we point lady Irano we've got incoming assault mechs just another obstacle to overcome for the restoration Mate, I've got assault max on the ship. Also, just another obstacle to overcome. She never has any useful input. She doesn't even like tell the troops or something, like something useful like, we will overcome this. Don't worry guys, we got this. Or anything, you know, even vaguely, she's just like, just another thing we'll have to deal with. It's, it's like, there's no like, I believe in you. We got this. It's no morale building. It's no like complimenting other people. Everything is about her. Ugh. I hate her. I hate her a lot. All right, we're gonna target the Zeus because probably a good idea to get you out of the way early. Uh, I can't see what you got on you. Oh. Uh. Yeah. That seems good to me. Multiple targets confirmed. Love and steadiness. And you've got breaching, so this is going to help on the Vindicator. Okay. Now oh, you've got the horrible strikes. Did the missiles just leave your fist and go up? Alright. The artillery space is moving forwards. Waiting for orders. Uh, that Zeus. Yeah, we could hit that Zeus pretty nicely. We'll also get to see who this is. Battlemaster. Oh, I want you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hit you with a PPC, I think. 
And the SRMs might knock you over. Yeah, knock down. I guess I don't have to kill you. I could just go to the second drill Z, but I really want the bits. And I don't know if I really want another Zeus. Battlemaster, though. Okay, the Black Knight's actually taking a lot of damage. Maintain stability. I'm hit. Ugh. I'm hit. Chill, dude. Stop making a big thing about it. I'm listening. Sure, you felt like I'm a giant, like, multi ton mech, but whatever. It happens to all of us every day. And, ooh, an awesome triple PPC. And a small laser, because why not? And triple PPCs, yeah. Hmm. I can't believe that we can get double to PPC on a Vindicator with a few heat issues. And it takes us until we get to an assault mech just to get one more on board. Kind of feels a bit... Just a bit disappointing. Um, yeah, I'll shoot the Zeus while you're down. The Griffin can get the AC-20. I'll make it happen. Right. Two pulses for you. I really dig the Highlander here. Unsteady. Not knocked down, though. Beginning the once ever on the Zeus. Zeus gets up. Its core's exposed. Huh. Well, I know what I'm calling a shot for. Calling a shot for my head, that's not nice. Aye, aye. Okay. Now, I really want to call that shot on the Zeus to take it out, but I've got so much firepower, it'd be kind of unfair to not spread it around. I'm gonna have to do it, though. Acknowledge. Oh, that's good. Zeus is down. I want both of you. Alright, Battlemaster. Maybe I should have got you up. Receiving you. You're pretty badly damaged. Okay, I'm up. I hate falling down. I'll vigilance you. That way you can act quickly next turn. Multi target. Alright, the job here is to take out the Vindicator and the Griffin, if possible. I copy. Don't know about the Vindicator, but we could get a chance here on the Griff. If the PPC hits, you'll be knocked down as well. Hey, torso and a knockdown. Hmm. Then, with the Vigilant, we're going to move the Black Knight into cover. It's taking too many hits. So we do have to stand the awesome, which is triple PPC. I will rain fire on your lance and smile as it burns. Yeah, 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 dude. Just I don't know. Go take a chill pill. On the move. Okay, again, I don't want to be firing the lasers. I don't know why you even select them. Uh sure. Splitting fire. That wasn't a really good turn, you missed with that one. Vindicator yeah, backs up, won't get a shot on the lance figures to there. 
Oh, you know, cover doesn't mean anything. Getting my ass kicked. Yeah, I'm aware. It's because you suck. Right, Griffin, get in close. Try and distract them. Not. Go ahead and run, Lady Kamea. You won't get far. I volunteered for this shit assignment so I can have the pleasure of hunting you down. When I catch you, I will make you need to make sure that died. For the death of my son. Okay, your son died. Cool. Don't excuse being an asshole. Also, don't think you'll use poor military tactics of destroying the dropship before I got on it. Reading you loud and clear. That's just bad form. Okay. I'm not liking the idea of the awesome. So what I'll do is I'm gonna... You still got a lot of health in that Vindicator. Gonna have to hit the Vindicator with a few things. AC20 will help. There we go. It's the right torso. Right arm. Cord! Just! I think that misses. Hmm. Okay. By. Highlander. Uh, yeah, you can stay still for another turn. And then just fire everything at the awesome, I think. Really? Just unsteady? He says, well, the Mew Grange, wasn't he? That's what this is about. He was the captain of the Mew Grange. He spoke of him. I listened to this flight recorder. I heard your order's death. This is why she shouldn't get involved in tactical operations, right? Here's how it works. You tell me what you want at a strategic level. Maybe even with some pointers. But only pointers for tactical level. Then, I go and I carry out the mission. You don't get on comm in the middle of the mission. Because also it... You could have had a deniable mission if you hadn't done that. He was under orders. He couldn't stand down. But if he could, do you think it would matter? He was my son. Nothing you say I'll do makes this right. The only restitution I'll accept is your death. I'm coming for you. Pray that my uncle's sword is reaching for Adu. Blah, 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 blah. Hey there. He's a talker, isn't he? I'm going to punch you. Affirmative. Left arm. And knocked down. Now, I really do want the bits, but I also am aware that we're running low on time. There's an artillery behind me, and I've got a badly injured mech. Yes, Commander. Holding for tactical advantage. I really want the Battlemaster. Awesome is pretty good. Okay. Also, in the leg would be great. Yes, I hear you. I'll make it happen. That's a lot of missiles that went very wide. Okay. Granola. Granola, canola. Can we do a punchy knockdown? We can't do a punchy knockdown. That's frustrating. How badly damaged are we? Enough to show my face? Eh. Waiting for orders. Where's that next? There's no more artillery? Oh, okay. I'm here. Roger. And then this will be knocked down. There we go. Hell, we could go for knockdown and go for pilot kills with that. I think I will just brace you. 
There's, there's a, there'll be a time to get you out. I don't think it's now. All right. Receiving you. Gonna back the Griffin up. Gonna go for that torso section. Got it. There's no pilot injury. Enjoy. Yes, come in. And we will reserve. You'll get back up. Then we'll knock you down again. Try and get ourselves an awesome. I'm happy with an awesome or a Battlemaster. I will settle for bits. Oh, literally went straight for us. That time I can accept it. That mechanism will be up. Probably went through a hole. Standing by. Okay, how badly damaged is that core? Ooh. Tell me what you need. Just tell me what you need. What you really, really need. Just tell me what you need. What you really, really need. I need a, need a, need a, need a, need a precision strike, which is really not going to be a particularly good hit, but... Damn it, we've got to try. Just the AT-20. Did it hit the leg? They found the Black Knight. Internal structure damage. Oh, the leg's so close! Says the core. Right, Black Knight, do you have a... Hmm. Standing by. Okay, fire everything you can at the Battlemaster for now. Unsteady. Commander. Right, Granola Canola. Do what you gotta do to break line of sight. Precision strike. Hit that leg. That leg needs seven. But 38 would kill that. So a medium laser will do the job. Nope. That was core. Cool. Okay. In which case we're getting to that dangerous threshold. 13. Okay. Yes, Commander. Here's the bit where you have to make a choice. Position confirmed. We're going to fire an SRM without, because we don't have the morale to make a cool shot. It's probably going to be a kill. It is. We got the leg, but we also got the core. Now, let's try and get the Batmaster. Ready for orders. Reserve. So you've taken one down already. You're a bit out here. What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me. Okay. I just took a heavy hit. I'm listening. Yeah, but you can deal with it. Sure. I'm moving. Okay. Weapon. Oh god, it might actually get caught. Reporting a critical yeah. strike. Well, if we get caught, then we get caught. Like, we can't really do too much about that. I can't call a shot or anything, so... The armor. Right. 67. Receiving you. Granola Canola, do you want to do the, the honors, maybe? It's going to be brutal. Two of your medium lasers wouldn't get the kill, but they also wouldn't do anything else. Let's do this bit damage. Do pulse lasers? No. Go for PPC. 
Because we'll get knocked down. Then maybe we can call some shots next turn. We'll see. We're doing a lot of seeing, I realize. Ready. Okay. Literally, I don't think there's a way for us to do this with so little. I'm going to try my, my best to get a Hail Mary headshot. Giving in everything I've got. Cool. The director, it must fall. That's a kill. Right. Leg it to the drop zone. Please don't make me get to another drop zone. I'll make it happen. Standing by. Acknowledged. Affirmative. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I left you on a rock, Confirm. didn't I? Sorry. I actually really want the Highlander to come home. I like the Highlander. Aye, aye. Understood. Moving to position. Affirmative. Confirm. Okay. I'm here. There we go. Roger that. It's easy just to get them to move than to is to hit the skip them brace button. I've got you. Setting a course. We need to fall back to restoration space where we can. Save my life. Not too sure about it. If the Torrens and my people are on the director's side, I don't know if any of this will be safe again. Mission. Oh no, I don't know if it'll be safe again. Oh no. I think if I was to play through the campaign after this again, I'd probably want a mod that just just removes all dialogue. Just not good enough. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't care about these people. I don't. I don't know why it gave me people random as like why? Because I won't care about them. The experience they get, I don't care about. Highland is pretty baller. Uh, right, we'll take a bit of Awesome. We'll take a bit of Battlemaster. We'll take a bit of... Zeus? Nothing else is a high tonnage. A lot of nice medium lasers. Ooh, actually. Two injury resist or two morale gain. I'm going to go for the injury resist. It's just way too good to pass up. Okay. Didn't run out of anything else. Interesting. Okay. Shame that we only got a bit of Battlemaster, a bit of Awesome, a bit of Zeus. No full mech there. Battlemaster and the Awesome would have been really tasty. Like, hey, maybe the Awesome has the ability to have lots and lots of LRMs on it. It's probably literally like a I've only got three energy platform points. I'm only a triple PPC, nothing else. Sometimes this game can be a little bit like, this mech is meant for this. There are two variants. One has four missiles, and this one has four lasers. Wonder what they could be. I kind of feel that maybe you should just not do variants and just give people more customization inside of a single ship. Chassis, sorry. Hello. This isn't over, Lady Arano. I will find you. And my son will be avenged. Your son was pretty Pray hot. that your uncle's soldiers reach you Shh. before I do. He should be like black hair, black hood, emo hair. Damage report in orbit. Are true. All right, that was a nightmare, but I think I finally threw it. I've quarantined the Lakura in secondary storage, and I shut down the drive. It can't hurt us anymore. Excuse me, Doc. What? The Mitch's code for Nautilus. That's what I'm calling it. The Lakura. Now, Lady on a story. It needs a name. This seems appropriate. Any objections? I don't care what we call it, Doc. I just know what we're going to do with it. What we're going to do is leave it alone. Secondary storage is now off limits. That means no more Star League maps, no more hidden archive, nothing.
have you considered taking the drive, plugging it into a laptop, and removing any wireless capability and not plugging it into a mainframe? I will put it in secondary storage and disable the connections. But we can't get access to all this really highly useful data. Have you considered just giving us a screen? What's it going to do? Flash lights at us. No, we'll touch it. Samira was right. The entire story episode was a terrible mistake. I got some pretty cool mechs out of it. I don't think it was a mistake. We're still live. We recorded a few metal mechs. I'm calling that a win. Are you sure the rest of the system is secure for it? I mean, really sure. If they weren't, we wouldn't be having this conversation about 90% certain that code is trying to detonate our fuel reserves. If it was still doing damage, the Argo would probably explode by now. Let's move on. We've got problems to discuss. Like the fact we're fighting the Torians now! One of the largest periphery skates. Okay. Uh, how the hell did that happen? I mean, I get we killed the Commodore's son, but people die every day. Nations usually go to war over them. I think there has been bed of the Turians for a while now, Yang, and that's where the weapons have been coming from. If ships like the New Grange have been running weapons to the Directorate since our victory on Weldry, the New Grange was a Torian vessel. It stands to reason that Espinosa and Protector Keldron have been doing business on the Sly ever since the war started. Right now, the why doesn't matter. I mean, yes, it does. Because if we knew why, then we may be able to solve problems diplomatically, or hell, you know, we might be able to cut things off, like hell. If a, if a nation state went to war with another nation state on Earth, and we were like, okay, why does this war start? Ah, they ran out of X natural resource. Let's say oil for the sake of it. How do we win the war? We cut off their supply of oil because they don't have enough of it, or they've got limited reserves, or you destroy their reserves. The why does matter. I need to do, I need to contact uh, Ranger War Council. Maybe she can dig ourselves out of this. Lady Arano. The point behind Lady Centrella backing him in this war was, and this was explicitly stated at the beginning of the game, she could have someone to do her dirty work without actually having to go to war or anything like that. She could just fund money to you and let you do stuff. You're now saying you need to contact her and arrange a war council. And maybe she can dig us out of this. Two problems with this. Firstly, kind of goes against what she was standing for. She didn't want to get involved in a small war, let alone a big war. Secondly, your whole, oh, I'm so strong and awesome and amazing. Look at me. I'm such an amazing figure of empowerment. You're a terrible figure of empowerment. Uh, your thought here is to maybe she can dig us out of this. All of your power is because you're a political pawn of Lady Centrella. She gave you money. Hell, you know, a lot of money. I'm getting paid good money, but still, she gave you that money. And now you're saying, oh, something's gone wrong. I need to run to her and get help. When, very specifically, her objective for funding you was that she could be at arm's length. When we hear from you, we'll come running. Good news. In the meantime, I must return to my people. In the face of the Torn War Machine, I fear that our system may be begin to abandon on us. Finding houses of order liberated need to see our cause in the last. You sure about that? Because we're understanding that things are looking good. We will find a way out of this. I swear it on my father's name. Again, nothing helpful. She's got no concrete. Like, no. We're going to stop offensive operations. We're going to pull back. We're going to um, defend the strong points that we know they're going to be taking. And we'll just try and buckle down and survive until reinforcements come. Or no. You know, we're going to make a push to try and keep them off balance. Or anything like that. She's just like, we will find a way. I will call other people for aid. They will help me. We will do this. No, she doesn't say we will do this. Sorry. She just says we'll get someone else to help me. Or I will survive because I am the chosen one. So frustrating. Uh, ooh. I offer you a Star League era Highlander. Ah. Ancient one from Star League days. It's rail rifle was an terrifying weapon that give a huge punch at almost any range but you can't find those anymore and of course still it's the jump capability it's always been known for I'm and down is back online. okay we're deep in director of space head back home
I am the chosen one. Stealing the form of flattery. Hmm. Uh, let's look at that mech. I also need to repair you. Load times in this game. Oh, you're so badass. You do look like some sort of weird 80s monitor setup with the, like, the hood over the top of the monitor. Ghost rifle. Ghost rifle. 15 tons. That's only one more ton than an AC-20. That's totally worth it. And Gauze rifle ammo contains eight rounds, and this one contains eight rounds as well. Okay. I'm going to put it in the, in the arm. Like, as much as that's maybe a problem or something... If we lose the arm, we lose both the ammos. Um, I'm definitely going to put in a cockpit mod in here. Two injury resist. Thank you very much. Right. LRM 20, SRM 6. I mean, you'd, you'd make a pretty good sniper platform. Ooh, heat sink D. Heat sink double, it, which takes up one ton but three slots, so it's the same tonnage, but triple the slots, so it's not really a double. Alright. Uh, ooh, it does double heat per turn, right? It does six heat per turn instead of three. Those are really cool. Those are starter gear, by the way. They're really awesome. Cut by them in the shops. I might install the Star League era tech mod just because it's more fun to have a few more options in terms of weapons. Uh, what else? You've got your jump jets. I can have some fun with you. Okay. You're adorable. Got an adorable kitty here. Yeah. Uh, what I'm thinking is we'll probably chuck some of these things. I mean, hell, we've got three support weapons. Gauze rifle. Let's look at your details. Minimum 180. Okay, it has got minimum range. We could... I'm going to just remove these for now. I'm not going to remove anything else. I want to keep the double heat sinks at ground. Uh, we could fit you out as a dedicated sniper. What would we want to give you? Energy weapons? Heat 40s, damage 60 because it's got plus 10 on it. Um, I could go large. You can do that? With ease? How much can we abuse your heat efficiency? Okay, maybe that's a bit much. But a gauze rifle on a triple PPC? I, I know it's saying that that's less firepower. It's lying. The sheer ridiculousness that that is, is... That's, that's a lot. Very long, long. Max is 450. Optimal 360. Optimal 300. Okay. Like, sure. I really dig this. I have to go missiles instead. We've got two missile hard points, and we'd probably want to chuck in like an LRM 15 or something. Uh. Okay, on 15. Move a heat sink to there. Um, oh god, where did that go? Checking it. Oh, I'm 15 here. What would we want to get rid of? That's heat 30. This is heat 40. 60 damage versus 40. Yeah, that's worthwhile. The weight doesn't really cut it. That, that I could go for. The issue is we've got to get in another ton because we need the ammo. That's 10 tons as opposed to 7. So yeah, I can't really fit that in. Uh, we could drop down to an LRM 10. That 
would solve that issue. Seriously? This can be very finicky sometimes. Uh, right. That gives us a bit of extra tonnage to play around with. I know it says that there's firepower. The heat efficiency is still good enough to keep firing every turn. We'll probably want to... You've got max on the arms and legs. Give you a little bit extra here. I'm actually going to reduce that. I think the issue here is going to come from the back. If someone gets lucky enough to get around the back of us, that's where we're going to die. So get you up to 70, 70, 80. That's going to be one hell of a mech. I know we've dropped a bit on the missiles and we've dropped the triple medium laser, but this thing is going to tear through enemies. Hell, another PPC would be great if we could um, drop that large laser for the moment. I could justify it. The heat efficiency would be a bit of a downer, though. And I don't think I'd justify it with a normal PPC. An upgraded PPC of some kind, maybe. Right, uh, if actually, if I get rid of that LRM ammo and use one of the ones from the stock, we'll be happier. Right. I'm going to put the LRM ammo in the arm, just so it doesn't actually detonate and destroy heatsink. Now I'll put them here. Right. We're going to name you, and you're going to be named a random cat guy. Which is a bit too long of a name. Random cat or cat guy? Cat guy. And you're going to be very long range. More like long range, actually. That's going to be a badass mech. I'm looking forward to using that. All of our sniper mechs are just, just, just forgotten about. I'll get it in the schedule. So good. So good. And I guess we'll do this mission or something. I don't know. Yeah, travels included. By your command. Off we go. That's a pretty badass mech. Since we've got so much money, we want to fix something on the ship. I realize this has been a very long video. I kind of knew this going in. Didn't think it'd be quite this long though. Enjoy. Uh, wrong one. Yeah, we'll go for Mech Bay 3 at this point. Two and a quarter mil. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Okay. By the way, look how there's engineering. The only reason this is here is so you can then what click her. Welcome which I, I don't want to. I don't I literally See you later. I don't want to talk to you. So the only reason there's this menu to get the sub menu where you want to go 99.999% of the time is so that you can have another menu to talk to her. What you really should do, because nearly every time... It's the same is true for mech bay, the same is true for navigation. Uh, to an extent, command, but you've got, you know... Actually, yeah, you've got Max, Santa, and Darius here. What you should do is go here and then have a thing of, like, talk to her here. Because this is where I want to go. I don't want to go here and then go to... This is just bad game design. Not game design. Like, I'm not an expert in game design or anything. I'm... Not even an expert at UI, but I'm a UI person, right? UI UX, obviously, because it's not the interface that's particularly wrong there. It's more the experience that is wrong. Um, it is the interface that, you know, you've got too many buttons and you've got the layers the wrong way around, but that's not the interface. The interface is that you've got the layers the wrong way around. That's the experience. Um, I'm explaining this poorly. It is in my defense, 1.30 a.m., and it was a too high episode. I was like, oh, you know, just do this episode and be fine, get done. Oh, yeah, this is a super long one. I'm going to 
got a list of things I'm going to do. I'm going to just ignore that now. Put cat guy in to be done. Right. Look ourselves to a planet. No. God, no. I've been Aaron Lissian. If you like, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing, all that jazz. Until next time, let me know your thoughts on the mechs and a lot of the game stuff that I talked about. Lady Rado being just annoying. And I don't understand why she told people to go back who we needed to go inside the thing. And either way, stay shiny.